Hey guys, welcome back. Oh, before you adjust your computer monitor, this is the Jacob Moore channel. I decided to do a little bit different of a video today, um, focusing more on the things that I'm currently obsessing over. To be precise, it will be the five things, no wait, that's wrong, four things that I'm really feeling and I want to talk about. As you can tell, um, I think that a different type of video required a set change, but it's not actually much of a set change. It's really just the other wall in my room that has my desk on it. Yeah. And I tried to make it a little bit more like morning show-y. I gave myself a cup here, a cup of coffee. So let's just jump right in with my number four pick. It's Lush. And I'm not just talking about my lips. I'm talking about the soap store that has literally taken the country and YouTube by storm. Everybody's talking about it, everybody's going to it, and everybody is loving it, including myself. And I've been dying to go in, wanted to have a Lush experience. So the other day I went in with my friend Sarah and we had the ultimate leisurely, like hour long Lush experience. It was amazing. I wouldn't trade it for the world. All of the products were amazing. We got to learn everything about each of the different products that they have. I even bought a few things myself. Here I have the, um, I think it's called the Black Body Bar, Butter Bar, Body Something Bar, I don't know. It exfoliates and moisturizes at the same time and you use it like once a week and they gave me this cool little tin that comes with it and it's black so that's kind of neat. And I also got a sampling of um, coconut scented deodorant. Now I have a serious sweating problem that I have begged my parents to get me Botox injections into my armpits ever since high school. For some reason, I don't know why. Maybe because it costs a thousand dollars per armpit. They refuse to get it for me, so I'm always trying different types of deodorants and antiperspirants. And I tried this one and it's pretty good. I may have to um, indulge and get the full thing. But in other news, while we were at Lush, they have this color wheel that has all of their, I guess they're like makeup pigments in it. Some of the store associates are trained to read your colors. So what they do is they spin this wheel that has all the colors on it. I actually have the card here. It's a wheel that looks like this, except it doesn't say emotional brilliance on it. And all of the colors are on there and you close your eyes and it's like a one-on-one -on -one with the store associate and you imagine yourself in a white room, something like that, they count to three. When you open your eyes, you pick the first three colors that come to mind. They don't have to be colors that you actually like. And then each of those colors has a word attached to it, like a descriptive adjective. and the associate will tell you how those three words apply to your life. Now, this experience was completely incredible over the top. When my friend went, hers were so dead on that I was literally crying in laughter. I couldn't contain myself. And then when I went, I have never been read more accurately in my life. I would tell you the words, but they're probably not very, you know, tell me, make me sound like a very good person. So I won't. So you're gonna have to go and try it for yourself. It, is definitely something that I recommend doing if you're ever in the mall and if you're ever in a lush. And the number three thing that I want to talk about is The Great Gatsby. I feel like everybody everywhere is talking a lot about the movie, a lot about the soundtrack. I know a ton of people that download the whole thing. I've listened to it. I think it sounds amazing, but I haven't seen the movie because I'm the type of person I really like to read the book before I see the movie because I like to visualize the characters myself and the settings and things like that and then be able to contrast it with what the movie, how the movie has portrayed it. So I haven't seen Great Gatsby but I have seen the commercials and I'll tell you it looks like one of those movies that I am just going to want to live in. Do you ever have those movies that you literally want to like live in the movie? I have a few of them. One of them is Running With Scissors which is also a book by Augustin Burroughs really good book. Um, the content of the movie itself is probably not appropriate for some younger viewers and I wouldn't want to go through any of the experiences. If you've ever read the book or seen the movie you would probably know what I'm talking about. But the movie itself is so glamorous and has this really cool soundtrack and the sets are amazing and they're totally set in like the 70s and it's just very cool and over the top and I wish that I could live in it. And the other movie is my favorite movie of all time from my childhood, absolutely adore it. It's Return to Oz. If you haven't seen it, you have to find a way. It's incredible, you'll love it. It's nothing like the first Wizard of Oz. It wasn't a big hit because people thought it was kind of scary, 
which it totally is a little scary. But if you like movies for the cinematic value, this is the movie for you. The number two thing that I want to talk about is supply, or supply. I don't know. It's spelled S-V-P-P-L-Y. It's a really cool website. It seems to be a mix of Pinterest and Instagram and Tumblr all mixed into one. Um, you get a profile and there's all these products and clothes and artwork and home stuff and everything you could imagine. It's all on this website. You get to pick things that you want or you can make collections. It's really similar to Pinterest, but it's a totally different format. You'll discover websites that you never even knew existed. It's definitely something that I recommend going on because I am literally obsessed with it. And if you're going to create a profile or if you have one already, make sure you hashtag follow me at Jacob Moore because I just want to be a part of this supply, supply, so whatever community. Finally, the number one thing that I want to talk about is vintage keeping up with the Kardashians. Recently, I started re-watching seasons like one and two of Keeping Up With The Kardashians on Netflix. I cannot tell you I am like reliving my past. I love it. I love seeing old episodes of every show. I love looking at the way that the show has evolved. I love looking at the way that the Kardashians themselves have evolved. I'd like to just take a moment actually to talk about the abundance of hoop earrings. Hoop, that is. And also the evolved changing style of Scott Disick, who is now a gentleman. Well, actually, he's a lord, Lord Disick. But once, a very long time ago, he was extremely into white v-neck t-shirts and oversized sunglasses. What? I don't dress like that. Either way, you cannot beat some vintage, quality Kardashian material. But if you love the Kardashians now, or if you love them then and you hate them now, or if you hated them now then and you love them now, you'll definitely want to check out that first season or two. Watch it all the way up until the current season. You're just going to love to see how everything has changed. It's great. Those are the four things that I am really feeling currently. Make sure you leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you're currently feeling or if you're currently feeling some of the same things that I'm currently feeling, I definitely want to hear about it and I want to hear what your perspective is on it. I will definitely talk to you later. I will be back with some other DIYs. I have a ton of stuff brewing in my mind and hopefully a few more of these videos if you guys like it. Until then, later guys.